Hey, what's going on guys? How you doing? This is Jonathan Moore and I am here with the man, Rick Stein from RLS Home Solutions. And today I'm going to be asking a question that I feel has a little bit of confusion floating around, okay. especially for us newbies, um, which is business credit. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what is business credit? Is it, is it credit cards? Is it, is it loans? I'm not sure. So. Have you used it? I have used it extensively, okay. and it's both. Okay. So I have unsecured mm -hmm. lines of credit mm -hmm. from several credit unions. Okay. The beauty of having an unsecured line of credit in that it's it's some similar to a credit card in that you only pay on what you use. Okay. All right. So for example, from a particular entity, I have a hundred thousand dollar line of credit. Well, that's cash. Okay. Right? So if I go out and I, you're a seller, mm -hmm. and I say, listen, um, uh, you want $70,000 for your property, and um, you only, will only accept cash, okay, I can do it. Mm -hmm. Because all I have to do is write a check from my line of credit, and I'll buy your property for cash. Now, of course, I got to pay back the line of credit, and normally the interest rate is about about five and a half to six percent. Okay. So, but if I'm going to let's say I'm going to do a flip on your property, and this will be a short-term loan, it really doesn't. If it's only a short-term loan, mm -hmm. because I'm doing a quick flip in and out in 60, 90 days, mm -hmm. it really doesn't matter what the interest rate is. Okay. As long as the numbers work, I'm still making money. Right. So you want to have as many unsecured lines of credit as you can. Mm -hmm. And the more established you are, mm -hmm. um, and you can show a track record, the more you'll be able to get. And they may start with you, well, we're gonna start with you with $25,000. Okay. Let's see how things go. Okay. So you use it, you pay it back, okay, we'll increase it. So my $100,000 line of credit started at $25,000. Okay. And now I have lines of credit with a number of institutions and it's good to know. Mm -hmm. You know, I need ten thousand dollars. Yesterday, um, my general contractor was I'm rehabbing one of my properties, and they said, "Rick, we need another draw." Mm -hmm. All right, how much? You need? Ten thousand bucks. Write a check from the line of credit. Okay. All right. So, um, but there's also credit cards. Okay. I have a whole bunch of. Mm -hmm. uh, let me turn this off. I have a whole bunch of credit cards. I mean, a stack. Mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. um, which I could use for transferring balances, because I'll get a letter, you know, hey, we'll give you 0% interest. They charge like 3% to transfer the balance, but right. if I'm paying 15%, I can transfer the balance, it's worth it. Mm -hmm. I could use it to go to Home Depot. Mm -hmm. I could use it to pay for my, uh, I buy a new property, I want to have to pay for the uh, a year's worth of home insurance, and I don't want to pay it in cash, I can put it on the credit card. So I have a whole bunch of, I mean, a lot of credit cards. Mm -hmm. Hard to keep track of them all. Okay. <laughs> and um, I have a bunch of unsecured lines of credit. Mm -hmm. uh, I also use some of these credit unions um, to for mortgages, to purchase properties, refinance. I prefer a credit union over a traditional lender because the credit union will generally be asset based. They will look at the property. Okay. I mean, they'll look at my credit, make sure I have good credit, but it'll be much more streamlined. If they want to see a lease, they want to see a, um, a scope of work from the general contractor, and if it makes sense to them and it works, you can get done with the loan in a couple of weeks or 30 days. So you've heard of the BRRR, the BRRRR, so you're buying yes. the property, mm -hmm. right? you're rehabbing it, mm -hmm. Uh, Rick 601. And, you can get rid of that, right? <laughs> and uh, you're refinancing it. Well, then I can refinance it. it. Refinance it either through another private lender mm -hmm. or through an institution such as the credit union. Okay. Okay. All right. So you know what? And then one more question, if I could. Um, so one of the things I hear about. So so what it sounds like you're saying to me is, a, it's good so that way you can have basically cash on hand. That's right. Right, if you need it for an emergency situation or you want to be quick to move on a property, right? right? You see a deal, you want to get it. Right. 
Um, so, but one last question, and, and I think this is might maybe be where the confusion comes in. You hear when it surrounds business credit, you hear this whole thing of no personal guarantee. And well, what is and what is that? Okay. Uh, well, actually, it's no. They want a personal guarantee. Okay. <laughs> so is that is that just a myth? The whole no personal guarantee. I or? have, in my experience. Mm -hmm. Well, hold on a second. Now. We may be talking about different things. Mm -hmm. They want a personal guarantee. Okay. Of course, there's no collateral for this loan. Right. 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 It's you unsecured. Know, unsecured. Right. What you may be talking about mm -hmm. is. Um, a non-recourse loan. Okay. So a non-recourse loan, and this is especially common when you buy properties through a self-directed IRA. Okay. What that means is that in the event of foreclosure, they can take back the property, mm -hmm. but they can't attack other assets that you may have. Oh, okay. Okay. So I think you also see the large commercial loans, although I really don't haven't done large commercial properties. Mm -hmm. But on, and although I think you know what, I think I just did. Having said that, I just closed a thirty-five thousand dollar line of credit, and there was no personal guarantee on it. I guess they like my looks. I'm not gonna argue with them. <laughs> You're a good-looking guy. Well, <laughs> what can I say? Yeah. Stud lover. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Well, my wife still thinks I'm cute, so that's uh, all that, that's all that matters. Yeah, it is, right? Um, so I think that would be unusual. Mm -hmm. um, there could be other people watching this and saying, "No, you're wrong." Okay. But my experience is they want a personal guarantee. They want to protect their you know, their loan. Right. Yeah. It's understandable. But yeah, because I, you know, and I think that's kind of like where I wanted to ask you that because you see that confusion. You see people don't you know, advertise these, you know, learning about business credit and no personal guarantees and all this other stuff, which I feel like can be attractive to somebody who's like, oh, really? You know, but I wanted to know is that really the reality in a way that it works? If it is, I'd like to see the terms of that loan. Okay. Right? Okay. What are the terms? There has to be something, some sort of, unless. It's secured by the property, but okay. if it's going to be a unsecured a loan, mm -hmm. then what is what are you going to pay? Right. Well, you take it to court. Right. Get a judgment. Right. They can do that, but there's no plan. Okay. So, in all likelihood, there has to be some type of personal guarantee. It has to be some something something some recourse, back. right? Some recourse for the lender if you don't pay them, right? Other than taking you to court and trying to get a judgment, right? Which you know you might not even have the money anyway, so right, right? Well, you're, you're gonna do right? right? So there has to be something to back that loan. They're not just giving out money, right? Just to just to be nice, to you. just to be nice and tell you to see right. what you can do with it, yeah, right? Right. <laughs> All right. So thanks for that. Thanks for clearing that up. You know, I think that's one that's like I hear a lot of moving right. around about that, but I think there's a lot of confusion okay. about it and maybe the way some of these guys are advertising it. Okay. So, well, thank you. Appreciate it. Always my pleasure. All right. So that's uh, our talk today on unsecured lines of credit and business credit and how you can use it in your personal business. Right. And um, until next time, make sure you guys subscribe, leave a comment. Right. Um, RLS Home Solutions. Go check it, check them out. And uh, until next time. Okay. My pleasure. All right. All right.